Hi everyone, this is Caroline with Logan's Crafty Mama. I recently showed this in a video and on a on my Facebook fan page. I'm out of breath, I just ran up the steps several times. Um, and I was asked if I would show how to do it in a video tutorial. So I'm going to show you how I made this. Here it is. And that has a few <laughs> of Leah's bows on it. So, um... I'm adding more. I've been making more for her. So that's what it looks like. Um, so get your uh, materials. I'm going to show you the materials you need and show you how to put it together. So let's get started. Okay, I'm having to do this with a broken tripod. So I apologize in advance for how this turns out. What you're going to need is um, a piece of foam board or construction, uh, not construction, um, box, cardboard box. If you use cardboard box, I would double it. I just found it easier to use, um, foam board. I buy my foam board from Hobby Lobby because I don't want the cheap stuff because, um, I am giving these away as gifts. I'm not just keeping them for myself. Um, I have a tutorial, I mean, a uh, template that I got from from template made by Nadia. She's www.funwithmama.com. Um, I will put her link down in the description bar below. I've never been to funwithmama.com. I actually found this on Etsy. So I bought this for $6, I think it was, from Etsy. Um, and it comes with three different templates. The one I got, it comes with a big one, which is the one you saw of Leah's. And then my mom, I made her one. I don't know if you've seen a video of it. I, might, I mean, a picture. I have a picture of it on my Facebook fan page. Um, hers is the medium. And then there's a smaller one below that, I think. I think it's three of them. But it comes with the bodice part. You know, you attach this to that. Um, I... I that was the best six dollars I've spent because I cannot draw if you can draw and you think you could draw a bodice then go ahead I cannot do it so I'll just support other fellow crafters so you're gonna need either to buy a template or to draw a template um, you're gonna need scissors um, an exacto knife um, I'm using the Tim Holtz Holtz one um, I'm loving this um, some scotch tape a pencil a glue gun, um, six, uh, I don't remember, I think I, went, I think I went through the whole 25 yards. I would say 25 yards of tool to be on the safe side. Um, this is the bigger one, so maybe, I don't remember if I went through that whole thing. Um, some embellishments of some sort, flowers, whatever. Speaking of which, I'm missing some flowers. Nope, here they are. Those. You're going to need a ribbon um, to put your hair bows on. I'm going to have to make bows because I don't have any bows. You're going to need one and a half inch of satin ribbon. And you're going to need some fabric. Um, I couldn't tell you what you're going to need size-wise. Um, I guess you just make the template and then you do it. Because I got the instructions um, off the internet and they said three quarter yard of this and I have enough of this with the one that I made Leah to make two or three more templates I mean two or three more things so I don't think you need that much you're gonna need some batting and you're gonna need some felt I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability that I can do I know I can make it I've already made two um, that's not my issue my issue is trying to show you guys how to do this without getting all up in the camera and all that so I'm going to try to make this um, to the best of my ability on the camera and if you didn't catch something let me know so let's do this first thing I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut out my template because when you cut it out you're going to then tape it together so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out. I apologize in advance if this is a two or three hour long video. <laughs> and then you're going to take your tape. And you're going to tape these together. Okay. 
and you want to tape them very well because you are going to be um, tracing it. I tape the front and the back. Um, some people say that's just too much tape. Whatever. That's not too much for me. Now, I've already made two, like I said, with this one foam board. So, this is how I do it. Now, this may not be how you want to do it, but this is how I do it. So, let me um, show you. This part right here is the straight part. I cannot cut a straight line for the life of me, not even with a ruler. So, what I do is I line it up on the bottom. So, I don't even have to cut all that off. I just line it straight up. So, all I'll have to cut out is this that and this but if you already cut it out make sure your piece isn't hanging off because I would hate for you to start cutting and then realize it so I'm gonna tape it right here so all I have to lose is this piece so let's go ahead and tape it here so like I said make sure it's flushed with the bottom which means even and then just tape it if you think you can draw without taping go ahead I don't personally recommend it. Okay, and then what you're going to do is take your pencil. I would not do this with a pen. I would do it with a pencil. And you're going to go all the way around it, and you're going to trace it. And then you're going to go back and cut it. I do this because sometimes when I start cutting, this does come up off the board, this paper that I just cut out, this template. And then I don't know where to cut. But if you think you can leave it taped and cut around it and skip the tracing, go ahead. But I, like I said, I give these as gifts, so I don't want to mess up. So... I'm going to go ahead and start tracing it. And you're going to take your X-Acto knife. And you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to go all the way around it. Okay, and then what you get when you cut it out is this right here. And then you still have this on there, so just pull that off. And then what I'm going to do is you're going to need your batting. Let me get it. Okay. You're going to need your batting. And I'm going to do this upside down. Okay. Um, if you can get the batting at Walmart or wherever you can find, um, you can get it in the rolls or whatever, the bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out as close to this as I can get. I'm going to start up here at the arm and just glue it all around here really good and then tap it and then glue it. So here we go. Make sure I have enough. Alrighty. So I'm just going to... Like that and tap it make sure it's on really good and it does you know come through that's okay because you're going to put another layer of batting and then you're going to put fabric on it so. once you know it's all glued down you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut around it it's easier if i do it this way. some more batting so go ahead and put another layer on there and then cut off again the excess okay and then you're going to do the same exact same thing you did before. You're going to start at the top. And this layer, you want to make sure you get it good and glued down because it's got to stick to this batting. So, and then I push. And it does bleed through. But you want to make sure you push it down really well because I've seen people that had this stuff and they didn't push it down really well and when you pulled it up it just fell apart okay and then with this one just make sure it's good and 
on there. And then do the same thing you did before and cut this out. Okay, now, this is the tricky part. It's not really tricky, it's really easy, but... Okay, this is going to be the bodice. This is going to, this right here is going to go over, you know, like that. So this is your top dress part where your, I guess where you'd say your, your cleavage and all that is. Your stomach and your boobs and all that. So, what I do is because my pattern, I like my pattern like this. Um, you need to make sure that your pattern is going the way you want it before you do this part. Because once you glue this down, it's stuck. What I do is I lay my, uh, my body, so to speak, right about here. I want to leave enough room so that you can tuck this. It's going to be flipped the other way, but I, I go by this way to actually cut the pattern out. It's better to have too much than not enough because once you cut it, you can't, you know, you can't do it again unless you want to waste more fabric. So I just cut a lot off. And some of the reason I'm going this wide was because I've made these. <laughs> And I know the issue I have had with them. When I was learning how to do this, I read, you'd rather have too much fabric on your thing that you can cut off instead of not having enough and finding that out after you do it. Um, so, and then you're gonna lay this down like this, and this is your pattern. And my pattern's going to go just like this. Make sure you have your pattern the way you want it. So this will sit on the other side of this, but I need it like this so I can cut it out. And you're going to cut it. But you don't want to cut too close. You need to leave you some... Um, some material room, I guess you would call it. And then I keep this because I can use these to make flowers and such with. So this, this isn't going in the garbage. Like most people do. And then turn it around. But do not mess with your, do not mess with your pattern. Leave it there. And then do the same thing over here. Go right here at the neck. Don't get too close. hard to cut like that okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to flip your pattern over so there's my pattern and then you're going to flip this over so your batting is touching the back of your fabric like this so now you have the back of your um, board and you're going to put it back where you want it and you're going to have it like that and then I start from the side so I'm going to turn it around and move my glue gun so I don't burn my fabric. And then you're going to take your scissors. Now this is the very hardest part out of any of this if you want to say it's hard. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to start cutting lines. Now when you cut them, you do not want to go too close to the fabric because if you pull it, it's going to tear. You don't want to go with too cheap of fabric either. Because if you do, again, it will tear. You just want this to be able to go up the back of your dress form. And you don't want to go all the way up in there either. And then what I do is I start in the middle and I pull it tight. I'm going to glue it right here because that's where I want it. And then I'm going to take my dress form and I'm going to, I mean my fabric, and I'm just going to attach it right there. And then I'm going to take just go all the way around and do that. And you want to make sure your fabric is down good. Um, this is where you will burn your finger, especially when you get around the top. 
This side, it's not so bad. You do want to make sure you're pulling it tight. Um, and your back will be covered with, um, uh, what is that stuff? F uh, felt, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, yeah. So I just keep pulling it kind of tight. You don't want to rip your fabric, but you want your out your dress to stick. And then go down here and do the same thing. Don't get in a hurry. You don't have to be in a hurry till you get around the neck. And then you do. Okay. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece right there. And go ahead and... I'm not going to attach that piece you just saw me cut yet. Um, yeah, I will. I'll go ahead and cut that attach that like that okay and that's attached and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it completely around so you can do the other side okay and you're going to pull this hang on a minute. i got a piece right here let me make sure you can see me let me zoom back out i'm so sorry this is so hard to do when you're not used to doing it from this angle my battery's about dead okay so this is the side you just did right here, and I turned it around. Now you're going to have this side. But before you glue it, you're going to flip it over, and you're going to pull it, you know, to make sure you have no really wrinkles in it. You're not too concerned about wrinkles yet because you're going to pull the wrinkles out of the bottom. And then go ahead and do the exact same thing that you did over there. Do it on this side. Cut your material. Don't go too far in. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull this. Don't pull it to where you're going to rip it, but pull it tight because this is the only side you have. You don't want it loose, you know, where it's going to fall. So you're going to want it snug. And I'm going to flip it over and make sure it's snug enough, which it is. So I'm going to pull back my glue gun. I'm going to go ahead and give me a lot of glue right there so I have enough. And then I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to pull them tight and I'm going to hook them. Like so. And then while they're hot, I'm going to flip it back over and make sure that that's how I want it. And it is. That is going to be the cutest fabric. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead oh, and attach these. You want to make sure you pull it tight. You've got to remember to pull it tight on this side. I've seen some people that um, sell them on Etsy and I want to email them so bad and like you need to pull it tight because you can see the wrinkles and that bugs me especially if you're going to sell them because I'm one that if it doesn't look good I'm not going to sell it I'm a perfectionist that's not always a good thing okay and then I'm going to pull this one right here and do the same thing okay and then I'm going to flip it back over and make sure we're still going good and we are Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to do it right here. Now this one, you want really small pieces because you will rip the neck quicker than anything. And it's because you've got it so, so, so small. So, what I do, and this is where I burn my fingers, start in the middle, put it right here. Burn your fingers and pull it tight, but don't pull it tight enough to rip, and that is hot as fire. And there you go. And then make sure you got it going good, because this will wrinkle, and it will wrinkle bad. And unless you're going to put an embellishment there, you're going to see it. Pull it tight and hook. Whew. Tight and hook. Hook. My fingers are almost completely burnt off, I think. I think I could probably, I'm not going to, but I could probably steal something. and <laughs> You wouldn't know I stole it because I don't have any fingerprints. Like 
like so. And then this you're actually going to connect in so you don't really have to worry about this right here. Yet. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this and my battery's about dead. Okay. And then now's the part where you're going to put these. And all you're going to do is I take it and make sure that I have it glued down, you know, up here at the top. And then I take this part and I fold it over. So I actually put glue in there. <laughs> and I fold it over to where it's really pretty. <clears throat> like that. And then tightly I pull it up so it looks like that in the back. Really nice. So you do that. And then you just glue the life out of the back of this fabric. But leave you room to actually grab onto. If you have to and you have a lot of excess, you can actually go in and cut that off <clears throat> like that. And that one kind of bent up on me. Normally, when I do this, you guys know when you don't, if you make tutorials, when you're making something, the video does not do how you want it to do. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to go ahead and attach this piece of ribbon down here so we know it's good and attached. And I'm going to bend this over. So again, glue dot, close. Put glue all up in here. Take your fabric, bend it over. And then you're going to take it if you don't glue it to the table. I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess off that I don't really need. Like that. And then I'm going to pull it tightly and I'm going to glue the mess out of it again. And my glue gun just run out of glue. <clears throat> and my battery is to five minutes. Five seconds. Five minutes. So by the time I go downstairs to get my dead gum charger, let me go ahead and finish, I'm going to go ahead and finish this area right here up. And I will get my charger and come back and show you how to do the bottom. Now the bottom, you don't have to cut because you're just going to take the bottom and fold it up. So I'm going to make sure I have, I'm good and attached here with glue. Make sure all of them I'm up. I'm up. And then you're going to take this, and you're going to go straight up with it. But you want to make sure that you turn it over, and if you have any wrinkles, pull them down and tight like that. So I got rid of all my wrinkles, and, I, and then I'm just going to glue the you-know-what out of the back of this dress. And like I told you before, if you put too much glue, it's not going to hurt anything. Pull that dress as tight as you can get it. And I got all the wrinkles out. Okay. And then go ahead and make sure that you have enough glue to cover it, you know, up here. Like that. And then you're going to take the sides and you're going to pull them in just like you did the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You guys saw how I did that a minute ago. Just pull it in, you know, to get it so the side's not showing. I do this side really quick before my battery dies. Like so. Attach it like so. And then make sure you're... And now is when I go back. And I make sure everything is glued down. You're going to put felt over it at the very end, but you still don't want anything coming up. So if you don't think you're glued good enough, glue it. And then that is your dress form. I mean, your bodice of your dress. So I'm going to go get my charger and stuff and um, go to bed, but you won't know that. And then I think I'm going to go to bed. I don't know. Um, 
I'll come back and I'll show you how to make the um, the tool part and then we'll connect it and put it together so that is how you get that so I hope that was helpful to you guys um, if you want to stay for the rest stay for the rest of the video it will be a long video if not um, thanks for watching